Jay Nichols. I'm a former NHL hockey player. Uh, I played 18 years in the National Hockey League. Uh, Los Angeles Kings, New York Rangers, Fantastic. Edmonton Oilers, San Jose Sharks, Chicago Blackhawks, and New Jersey Devils. Fantastic. Now, um, you are you are doing some amazing, amazing stuff. First of all, um, let's talk about all sports market. Um, you, you've got a lot of different things that you're doing. Um, first of all, Bernie, welcome to the broadcast. Glad to have you on today. Well, I appreciate being on. Thank you. Now, um, you you've done a lot of things in in your time. Uh, you, you you mentioned uh, a lot of hockey. Uh, how, how did you get interested in the in in the in the sport of hockey and, uh, and get into the NHL and all this? Kind of take me through this story, my man. Well, being Canadian, I think uh, it's mandatory you play hockey as a kid. Uh, most kids are born with skates on in Canada here, so. I started skating when I was three years old. I uh, started playing organized hockey when I was five. And it, you know, it's something I did all the time, uh, probably every day. And uh, obviously, I was good enough to, uh, to play in the NHL. So uh, for me, being a Canadian kid, it was a dream come true. Uh, having the opportunity to play in the NHL was something special. We've got a uh, great guest with us today. He joins us live here on our big broadcast. And uh, now, now, Bernie, uh, getting in uh, to the NHL and, and, and playing there, uh, tell us a little bit about some of your experiences uh, playing with the different teams and, and things of that nature because we've never interviewed a, uh, a, a hockey player as, as famous as you are, my friend. So, uh, so give, give us some details here. Well, I, I broke in with the Los Angeles uh, for 10 years, uh, 1988, 89. Uh, we made a trade for uh, arguably the greatest hockey player ever, Wayne Gretzky. Yep. Uh, so I haven't seen play with Wayne for uh, a part of a year and a half. Obviously, a thrill in itself, you know. Uh, I think as a Canadian boy, just to play in the NHL is something special. But when you have the opportunity to play with uh, – greatest player of all time that that was obviously something special for me and i got to hang with wayne and spend a lot of time with him and uh it was just a magical year goals that year one of the players to ever do that uh 150 points that year only uh four players have ever done that in the history of the nhl so obviously that was something special so uh you know and then i went to new york uh, playing in New York was was great. Uh, Madison Square Gardens, they always say, you know, uh, playing in New York is, is great, and it was. I uh, played in Chicago, so I got in three of the, the largest cities in, in North America to play hockey in, so um, that that was a lot, a lot of fun to tell. Good stuff, good stuff. He joins us live here in our and uh, the, the world of hockey – uh, playing, playing in Canada, playing in the United States. Uh, did, did you get a chance to do uh, much hockey uh, all over the world, or was it primarily just NHL? And, and, and that? You, you broke up on me. Any hockey where? Uh, all over the world. Uh, did you play hockey anywhere well, other than uh, Canada and uh, the United States? Uh, Championships in Prague, nineteen eighty four, and then in eighty or nineteen ninety seven with the Jose Sharks, we opened up in, in China. Uh, we played there two games um, in, in different countries. Was was really So, uh, how do fans all over the world? Well, for the um, when we played in Prague, there's a lot of great NHL hockey players now from from Prague, Russia area, um, and then China. You know, um, it's a, it's a global sport. I think uh, they're having the Olympics there in a couple of years, and I know they're they're trying to uh, you know work on their hockey. That it may not be the best hockey country in the world, but but they're definitely working on it. So. Uh, anytime we can take our sport to another country like that and uh, advertise it, I think it's pretty good. That's pretty cool. That's 
We've got a uh, great break today. He joins us live here on our big broadcast today. And uh, once once you knew your when when back as you know that your hockey career was winding down. Well, probably the last contract I signed, it was in San Jose. I kind of had a an understanding with the, the general manager at the time. Uh, we had a couple of real good young hockey players that were just coming up, and uh, when they were good enough to kind of take over the number one position, I would take a lesser role, and uh, that's kind of the way it, it was winding down for me. You know, you, when we got some young kids coming up, and uh, that's the going to do a little bit better than you then it's probably time to step down so for me it's kind of way it, it worked out it's interesting we got a question this today joins us live here in our broadcast now you got out of the sport of uh, of of hockey and 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 stopped professionally what, what did you do then well i still do a lot of charity hockey events uh fantasy camps uh different charity stuff but uh, I got involved in a company called All Sports Market. It's actually the first ever real money stock market where you can invest in, in your favorite sports team. Uh, you, you get uh, dividends for every win. So uh, the alternative gambling, you know, I think our group is kind of uh, trying to keep people from gambling and more investing. You know, our, our yeah. investment doesn't expire. If, if you invest in the L.A. Kings today or the uh, New York Yankees or uh, a football team, the Dallas Cowboys, if they lose, you don't lose your investment. Uh, yeah. So to me, the class break, uh, well, what I've told people before, and, uh, there's nothing worse than going to meet your bookie on a Tuesday morning with an envelope full of $100 bills. And I've been in there. It's not fun, you know. <laughs> so I kind of discourage people from that. That's kind of my experience. I've been there. So, like I said, that's not a fun thing to do. So, with us, you know, I, I've been in a team where when I first broke up, we had 8,000 diehard teams, but every one of them would want to own a piece of their team. So, you can buy on your team for $3, $3.50, you know. You didn't need to spend thousands of dollars, but you still have invested in the team, and you don't feel like. like so to me, uh, all sports market is just a, a, a closer way that you can get, or a way you can post your your team. Uh, you get to watch your team perform every night, and, and to me, that's way better than gambling or, or making bets. That you know, bets are good. At the end of the day, Vegas isn't built by winners, you know. No. Uh, there's, people, there's a lot of money. So that's the way I look at it. And to me, uh, it, it, it's awesome to feel like you can build your team. And so we, we created that. And I think so are the, the people have loved it. Everybody's heard about it. Uh, they, they love the concept and they like to get involved. Well, t- take us through this a little bit more detail so fans and, and, and people who are interested in getting involved with this, uh, what exactly they know that they're getting into. Kind of explain all sports marketing to us here. Well, you, you go on the web. Uh, we actually have an app out for Apple phones uh, for every device here, hopefully within the next month. But you go to allsportsmarket.com. We actually have a free side and we have a real money side and we had this uh free version going on for a year it's got a learning tool you can go on there uh it teaches how to invest in in, in sport uh teach you kind of how the market works when you feel comfortable then you can invest real money and uh like i said it's the first one ever um it, it's not it's not a beginning it, 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 i mean invest uh, you know, I look at it a couple ways. For, for me, I, I invest in my favorite team, and no matter what sport. But, but then, for example, for people that want more, they look around the league, they see a team that's going to do well. Um, and if they do well for, you know, two or three weeks, a month, invest in them. Every time that team wins, you can pay dividends on wins, uh, turn around 
I look for another team. It works great for baseball, example. If you're an L.A. fan, you, you care in them, you hold on. Well, you look around the league. Maybe the Yankees got a homestand coming in in two or three weeks with teams coming in, buy shares in them. If they win 14 out of 15 games, you get paid dividends on every win. Turn around and sell them. Look for another team. In hockey, you, you know, you, you, at the trade deadline, you see a team that's going to make a run for the playoffs. Invest in them. If they happen to, you know, it may not be your team, but you're looking for some action, invest in them. Uh, if they happen to win the cup, your shares are going to go up. You're making dividends. So it's just there's so many different ways you can do it. Rather than, you know, a bet, it's just cut and dry. I bet on this team tonight. They win, I win, they lose, they lose. So this year, you, you can invest in them for a long period of time, short period of time. Uh, in the meantime, you still have shares in your team. So to me, the, the concept's brilliant. There isn't a sports person in any sport that wouldn't uh, want to get involved in this. We've got a uh, great guest with us today. He joins us live here on our big broadcast. And uh, all sports marketing is uh, what we're talking about today. We are speaking with Bernie Nichols. and. Uh, he, of course, is a famous NHL player and now uh, now working on the all-sports marketing side of things. Um, wh- what's been some of the reactions you've gotten to all-sports marketing so far from folks? Well, they, they love it. You know, uh, like I said, it's not necessarily just sports fans. People that love uh, the stock market, uh, they like it. But, I mean, you, you get everybody. And, you know, you think about sports, you, you just think about guys. Well, you know, being in L.A., I, I know a lot of ladies that are huge King fans, and they're investing in their team, you know. And it, to me, that, that that's the concept that, that people love. It's like they get their, their team perform. Uh, there's nothing that. So uh, we, we've got great response from everybody. Uh, our biggest hurdle that we run into as a company it's, is telling the world, you know, letting everybody know. Sometimes you, you do, or someone hears about it on the something, but it just they're driving, they don't get a chance to go back and really go in and have a look at it. And, you know, I think once they do, they, they see we got the free side there that kind of teaches you that, teaches you how to, to play a market. Uh, and then when you feel comfortable or right away, you just go ahead and buy shares in your team. So we've got great response from, from fans and, and people that uh, when they look at it, they really enjoy it. We've got a uh, great guest with us today. Bernie Nichols joins us here. All sports is the topic uh, here on our first uh, first segment here on iHeartRadio and AMFM247.com. And uh, all sports marketing, they're, they're, they're doing some amazing, amazing things. We're speaking with one of their uh, spokespeople right now here on uh, Skype Audio. Now, um, Bernie... Where is this going as far as how far do you think all sports marketing can go for folks? Well, I think uh, it's going to go, it's going to be huge. Like like I said, there's nothing out there like it. You know, they have uh, certain other things that are like FanDuel, King, that's fantasy betting. That, that's actually illegal gambling is what that is. We're, we're not a gambling site. We're, we're an investing site. Uh, uh, our our goal is is we're going to go public with it, uh, hopefully soon, you know, in the in the near future. But uh, and have it on a, a market where people can go on and and play it. But like I said the sky's the limit for this. Uh, there, there's nothing out there like it. And and every fan, like, like I said, the team in the league, or you can have the best team in the league. You still have diehard fans, and they love their team. That's one great thing about sports. Uh, like I said, you can have the worst team in the league, but you still got your diehard fans who just live the dream of that team. You know, to, to have a $5 share and a $1,000 share, whatever it be, $2.50 is what the shares start at. So, yes. you know, just to have a little piece of that, every fan is going to love that. So, you know, to me, and we're global, you know, it's a global company. Uh, we want to get soccer over in Europe and stuff hopefully will be our next thing we're going to do but we got the four major sports in North America right now and uh, you can play them all so to me it's just it, it's a lot of fun people see that um, like I said I, I before and there, there's obviously a rush in that but 
playing this, you still get that adrenaline rush because that's your team. You got invested interest in that team. You don't need to bet, you know, a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars to get 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 a rush. Just to have a little bit of an, an investment in a team, whether it's ten bucks or five bucks, you still have that adrenaline rush because it's your team and you got vested interest and to me that's that's the way it should be and and you know we we cap it off we don't want someone coming in and and spending 10 or fifteen thousand dollars buying shares we we cap it off at twenty five hundred dollars it's just you know it's fun but we don't want someone to come in and, and take over the whole market on us so uh we monitor that we make it so that it's fun and it's not you know, people aren't going to get carried away on it. So um, it, it's done right. We're doing everything right. It's for the fans. It's for the, the, the public. And um, once they know about it, uh, they really enjoy it. I, I've never had anybody that hasn't looked at it. And, and I just say, be honest, you know, and no, we, we, we like it. So to me, it's a great, great idea. And uh, now it's just a matter of letting everybody know about it. Bernie Nichols with us today. He joins us live here on iHeartRadio, AMFM207.com. Joins us live on Skype Audio. Well, Bernie, appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for coming on the broadcast. Thanks for educating us about all sorts of market. Before we let you go, how do people access the website, social media, get in touch with you folks? Well, first of all, you just go to allsportsmarket.com. The website will come up. Uh, they're working on the website every day to make it uh, as good as it can be, uh, updating it all the time. Uh, and if people you know if anybody ever has questions, they can track me down. I'm on uh, Facebook at Bernie Nichols uh, 9, I think. Uh, Twitter, Bernie Nichols 9. Uh, I'd answer any question, help anybody out. But it's really, it's really easy when they get in there. But it's allsportsmarket.com. Uh, go on it. You know, play the free side, get comfortable with it, and then uh, invest in your favorite team. Good stuff. Well, I appreciate it, and uh, thanks for being with us today, my friend. Appreciate it. You got it. Thank you, man. Thanks for it, man. Bernie Nichols with us today, ex-LA Kings and Clippers super fan, joining us today here on our big broadcast, coast-to-coast, border-to-border, tune in, loyalty, and, of course, Stitcher out there.